All right, ladies and gentlemen, so much like I said, we are nearing the end of the season. Um, and like I said on NXT, like I said on Raw and A and, and AEW, I'm going to bring this up once and then that's it. Um, Josh is no longer with us. And uh, he's going through some things. We wish him the best. Me, Humanoid, Jamsaw, and Dylan are here for you. Uh, but uh, yeah, take your time. We'll be here for you. But as always... With me is now Thursday night. And I am um, just going to do it until the end of the season. With me, as always, is Thursday night Impact Humanoid. The freak of Impact. How are you today, sir? Well, well, well. well, well it well. is I, the quintessential Latino stud muffin. Humanoid. I can't think of anything because I'm not Joe Gertner. Humanoid freak. long pants depressed bring you down <laughs> son of a bitch bring you down bring you down <laughs> sometimes but not all the time not all the time so before we get into what we're gonna address about the show blah 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 as always uh we are looking at the new breeds boogeyman going up against the ecw original tajiri were you a boogeyman fan or were you not a fan of the gimmick not a fan of the gimmick, but I became a fan of the gimmick as soon as he beat JBL at that one pay-per-view. I'm like, okay, I'm sold. Damn, but yeah. But he's going against my boy Tadgers, the Japanese best. Uh, I have come across, uh, uh, in my TikTok, I've been coming across the videos where he was tagging with Jamie Noble. Tajiri? Yeah. And they were tagging. When was this? It was like, when he was, uh, I think it was like... Late nineties, early two thousands. It was Once, yeah. Look this it is up. like late SmackDown. I think I remember to Jerry team with Jamie Noble. Yeah, there was, and it's always the locker room scene where uh, Jamie Noble has uh, what the fuck was her name? Nidia. Yeah, Nidia. Yeah, he had her. Oh, they, I remember now. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But god damn it, SmackDown back in the day was nuts. J.B. Noble and Nidia were so hilariously funny. <laughs> and then he brought in Tajiri like, hee 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 Wasn't she blind? Wasn't that her gimmick? Or was she really blind? Or was that somebody what do you else? Mean, she wasn't really blind. Oh, okay. Listen, brother, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she could have been... She got green mist, like, she, she got green misted, now that I remember, like, and that's supposed to blind her. Okay. But then she wasn't really blind because she was playing her boyfriend and they had a match in No Way Out. Boyfriend versus girlfriend match. Fine. There you go, Boogie. Because oh. Jamie Noble was cheating on Nydia when she was blind. Let's, let's, listen. We've been recording for not five minutes and this man's going to tell me, oh yeah, Jamie Noble, I didn't know he cheated on his girlfriend. That was storyline. Right, 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 right. But still, the character, I didn't know he cheated on his girlfriend. Oh yeah, like, uh... Okay, oh, Tajiri almost got a win there. Like, mm -hmm. her, uh, Tajiri and Noble had like a feud, like a mini feud. He was about to green miss Noble, but Nidia got in the way and got missed it instead. Then she got blinded. Nidia, uh, Jamie Noble took care of her, but also was cheating on her at the same time, and Nidia was faking being blinded because she knew that Jamie was cheating on her and he had a match in No Way Out, which was hilarious. Mm hmm. Oh, Jamie Noble and Lydia were amazing and hilarious. Damn. <laughs> you have one where they go to Playboy Mansion because, like, Nidia wanted to be in Playboy, and Jamie <laughs> Noble was having none of it. <laughs> it was like, yeah, no, I was it's like, no, we can't have Nidia in Playboy. It's like, she's not that good looking. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious, though. Now, what was... Jamie Noble. Who was your favorite over... There's only two I can think of, so if you can name another, then that would be great. Who Who's the greatest overprotective boyfriend wrestler gimmick? I can only think of Jamie Noble and Mike Knox. If you can think of another one. Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, with Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Not just inside the ring, outside the ring, too. 
Hulkster, you coming into my Miss Elizabeth? I don't want her, brother. I know. Oh, you've been looking at her wrongly, <laughs> brother. I see the way What's you that? look at her in my corner. You. Yeah. Boom. Oh, Tadger's wings, brother. Holy shit. <sighs> Here is your winner. God damn My it. boy Tadger's wins against a boogeyman. Japanese oh. buzzsaw is great. He is great. Very great, man. So, were you a fan of him in ECW, or did you catch him when he transitioned to the other brand? To Jiri? Yeah. Uh, he's the first person I saw in ECW, because I, I, um, changed the channel one day, and I saw Tajiri. I go, like, what's this? And he's like, he's doing things, and that's the first time I ever seen ECW, but then I didn't watch ECW, and then when he was in WWF, I recognized him, I go, like, hey, that's the dude from ECW. And then I did my research, watched some ECW back in the day. But Tajiri's greatness, man. Tajiri's a greatness. He is great, and I do love how they're having Asuka do the miss shit now. Yeah, like Tajiri wasn't the first. That was a great Muda, great Kabuki, and I forget who else. Oh, God. So, Natalia take it on Dakota Kai. Yes, so as always, do the proper announcement. So, we have King's Era, Dakota Kai. Going up against the new breed, Natalia. I always love um, bringing up the new breed because it was that little, it was the stepchild that no, that that wasn't want, wanted. And um, I love bringing up names to uh, Dylan, and he goes, "They were on ECW." I'm like, "Yep, on new breed." Oh, the WWE CW. Yeah, yeah, they. Yes, because like to me, I I don't count that all by moderation because it wasn't the real ECW in my yeah, eyes. See, that's why when when I br brought it in, I put knockouts, pinfalls, and submissions. Countouts are allowed. Uh, no rope break. Uh, no disqualification. Like it's fucking extreme. Like you get knocked the fuck out. Like I yeah. can't find on YouTube anyone that does the stuff that the five of us do. Very true. Also, ECW wasn't just about hardcore. They also had, like, technical masterpieces, like, he had a Guerrero, the D. Malinkos, yeah. Chris Benoit, the uh, Taz's, and all them. I think but they also did it. sprinkled in between his hardcore matches. I think they did it better first, too. Like, when WWE uh, accepted the technical side of the shit, it was, like, I think, like, L, five or six years after ECW was doing it. Like, technical oh, wrestling yeah. and high they flying. they did do that, didn't they? Yeah. Because Vince was big on the steroid dudes, the power dudes, whereas... Cartoony air characters. Yeah, whereas in his back po po pocket, the man had Benoit, Guerrero, Mysterio, Malenko, uh, all that shit, and he didn't use them. Saturn. Yep. Uh, can I say Lance Storm? Yeah, Lance Storm also. Okay. Okay. Lance Storm, like ECW, and then in WCW, he was the uh, Triple Crown champion. One, like the, he won, he was a WCW United States light heavyweight and hardcore champion. Mm hmm And he renamed it the uh, Saskatchewan title, the 100 pound or less kilos or something. Damn. And the Canadian championship, which was great. <laughs> Lance Storm, if I can be serious, for was a great wrestler. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. I thought you were going to say, he was a great res res wrestler, but a shitty guy. And I was going to be like, tell me more. <laughs> no, I was, like, was kind of mad when he saddled him with like, the boring gimmick. Lance Storm is anything but boring. Right. He has no charisma, but he can wrestle. Well, neither did the great Kali, and they gave him a world title. Because he's a seven-foot giant. Yeah, 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 with a eight-inch dick in Vince's ass. <laughs> yes. God damn it. Damn it, Natalia. Why did you run into that leg sweep? Fuck. Because Natalia is there to be Natalia. Natalia. Okay, 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 okay. So, I know you didn't watch the product a lot before you came on. So, in season two, last season... 
me and Jam saw what you will too once you have your own show in a few months. So, you're going to come across a wrestler that you know is going to be successful and you want to be successful. Natalia was the one I wanted to be successful for some fucking reason. I wanted her to be my women's mid-card champion so fucking badly. All season I gave her opportunity after opportunity. Title matches, number one contender matches, last chance matches. And the time she finally won the mid-card title was a month before WrestleMania. Oh, and then just like in real life, too. Yes, and she dropped it like the week we came back. It was fucking so terrible. Just, just like in real life, Natalia. Yes. I like Natalia. She's a Canadian girl. Yeah. But she's Natalia. That's, <laughs> that, that's why I brought her to ECW, because number one, she was in the new breed. So I was like, oh, let me explode her here. It worked for a month. She, she was on a tear in ECW, and now she's... Nah. It's, she's basically Natalia. Yeah. I like, like I said, I like Natalia, but she's just Natalia. Yeah. They, she's like the go-to person to put other people over. Fuck. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad though, but that's what she is. She comes from a great line of talent, and they do yeah. that shit to her. Yeah, she does. And now, like, like I, have, I don't know, man. Like, she's on YouTube with her sister doing like questionable videos mm. it's yeah. like one step away from being only fans oh god D don't don't tell me the link to that uh that'd be that'd be that'd be terrible god no just type in natalia's youtube channel and you'll <laughs> see from there <laughs> oh god natalia Two. oh the code guy has a number three god damn it the code guy getting over she won she won of course, because it's the King's era, and he's always fucking burying my talent, man. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I don't. The King's era burying your talent. I, I, I don't get it. I don't. But with that being said, we're moving on to our next match, which is a match I think you're gonna find interesting. Oh, an Rob ECW, Van Dam versus Brown Breaker. An ECW original, Rob Van Dam, going against the King's era, Braun Breaker. What interesting match? Break this down for me, and what's your prediction? Oh, I don't know. This is like a great matchup. Rob Van Dam, Mister Monday Night, Mister Pay Per View against Rick Steiner's son, Braun Breaker. He's mm -hmm. the king of NXT. Yep. I, I can only imagine when he gets up to the main roster what he'll do. Oh God, he's the one that's gonna dethrone Roman. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> Braun Breaker dethroning Roman. That'd be something. That would give him a massive fucking push. Yes, like he's amazing in NXT. Like, oh my God, four. When, he, when he first got, whoa, oh, damn, Rob. Oh, okay. I got, I got, I gotta be honest though. When Braun first showed up with the name Braun Breaker, I was like, what kind of goddamn name is Braun Breaker? You're right. What are they doing, this guy? But and, and now you see him. Says something weird to us, like. We think it's stupid, but then it's embedded in our head that it's a good name. Mm-hmm. Like, the f universe, I'll never get used to that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But one thing they couldn't get over, tout. Yep. Even though they said it, like, five times in one segment. No, who like, I'm go saying on, tout. Tout. Get pushed. tout. Tout. You know who I'm saying didn't get a proper push? Virgil. <laughs> you serious? Yes. He, he, he could have... We all know Vince's experience with African-American world champions. He's, he's a douchebag about it. He'll give him the title and then he'll have Brock steal it. Brock wasn't even in the fucking sport back then, but if Virgil was the world champion, he would have sent Brock on him. It was fucking ridiculous. So, I I think the only title he got was the million dollar title? Million dollar title, yeah. Yeah, like... I don't know, you could have gave him, like, a mid-card title. Like, give him the, the Intercontinental... The United States Championship. Well, here's the thing about Virgil, though. He started out hot when he broke out from Ted DiBiase. Yes. Roddy Piper, like, sold him over so much. 
Like, he got him over so much just by going nuts on commentary. He's like, come on, Virgil! Come on, you can do it, Virgil! Damn. But as soon as that that thing was over, like, Virgil just became a, a, a jobber. He, he showed that he was nothing without Roddy Piper. God damn it, Virgil. Yeah. But Roddy, I mean, Virgil now doing the fuck money and getting that fuck money money. Yep. And doing his, uh, his, um, side hustle by going to conventions without being invited and saying, ah, oh, meet superstar Ted DiBiase and Virgil and never having Ted DiBiase now. Ah, damn. <laughs> yeah, you know those lonely Virgil memes? Yes, I, yes, I've heard of them. They fucking suck. Yeah. Ah, oh, Virgil. He's become a meme. Oh, hey, no, Rob, come on, Rob, put this man away. Show him why you were Mr. M uh, Mr. Monday Night. Wait, yeah. Tuesday. I forgot which. Yeah, Monday Night. Yeah. Yeah, Monday. Yep. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, it's over. Rob Van Dam wins with the Rolling Thunder. I will agree, though. I saw a video where they were like. I, it was a video of what was like. Number one. Like, top ten re re reasons why. WWE CW was doomed and like the number five spot was when Rob Van Dam was presented the world title and he goes, oh, this, this, th this is great, but I think I'm going to keep oh this Oh my God. Because it's. You got Marcus Corvon. You had to do it, didn't you? <laughs> Marcus Corvon. No, wait, I love Monty Brown. I can't stand Marcus Corvall. With that being said, folks, moving on to our next match, the ECW new breed, Marcus Corvall, which, um, so there are certain superstars which are going to be shared between brands, um, and with Marcus Corvall, he's going to be in ECW, but then he's also going to be in Impact as Monty Brown. Um, nice. But he is here to take on the ECW original. Fuck. Sato Tanaka. Yeah. Yes, Tanaka. Um, what's your so prediction? You're saying, sorry, before you go anywhere, like, you say you're in the top five thing about how, why ECW failed in WWE? Yeah. Yeah. Which one was it? It was, it was like the top ten reasons that Rob's was like number five or something like that. Like the fact that he gave zero shits about the world title when it was presented to him. He wanted oh, to keep... Oh, it spins. Yeah, 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 that one. He's like, oh, this is great, thanks, but I'm going to keep this too because it spins. Like, he yeah. gave like zero, zero respect to the world title that was given to him. Yeah, because it spins. And then number one, getting rid of uh, Steven DeAngelis, the ring announcer. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. Oh. A lot of people said that one of the worst matches in WWE, WWE CW was uh, when Big Show was world champion and he fought Batista. Like, nobody wanted that match. Oh, at the uh, uh, Hammerstein Ballroom and the yep. fans shit on it? Yes. Change the channel, same old shit. Damn. Like, they went in on them. Yeah, but East, East, ECW fans, when they transitioned, they stopped being the hardcore fans that we, we that we all knew and loved. Yeah. I'm glad that Cena experienced it, though. That's fucking amazing. Cena? Yeah, when, when, when he threw his shirt out, and they wiped their oh, asses. Yeah. With, yeah. And then if they threw he, it back. Yeah. No. Wiped her asses, spit on it, sneezed on it. Fuck. Poor Cena. Yeah, but he was a trooper about it, though. Oh, yeah. Yes, 100%. Marcus, there you go. Come on, show that the new breed is top uh, dog in this shit. Season four is our season. New breed, future season winners. Oh, God. Uh, I miss Monty Brown. I wish he came back to wrestle. Mm. What's he doing? Uh, he uh, quit the business because something about family. Someone in his family was in trouble. Mm -hmm. So he quit the business and took care of his family member. Ah. Oh, nice. It's like, uh, it's like he never said what it was. He just said, like, I got to take care of a family member. Damn. One. Oh, come on, new breed. Come on, new breed. What are we doing? No. Now, tell you lost it for me, Monty. You, Monty, Marcus. You, you yes, he's be. Monty. He's Monty. 
Let's say you can say he's Monty. It's like the, the he's gonna do the pounds. <laughs> That was nasty the first time I saw it. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Can you survive the Serengeti survival? Ooh. Can you survive the Serengeti, I mean? Come on. Make that fight oh. work. Oh, of course not. Pick him up. Come on. Marcus. Okay, pitch him in. There you go. But do something with it. Oh, uh, sledgehammer. Fuck. He's got a stop sign. He's it's got... time to stop. In the name of the... Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he put a stop to me saying that's fucking... That's like breaking the... There you go! What? Knocked him out. How did that happen? Stop How did he win? What? He, he knocked si him out? He side rushed and leg sweep knocked him out on the stop sign. That's oh, fucking that's amazing. hardcore. Yeah. Oh. Marcus Corvan wins by knockout. That's what you do. Are you nervous? Masato. Masato did not survive the Serengeti this time. Are you nervous for for NXT? A little bit. A little bit. I'm going against ECW, right? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. 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 With that being said, right. yeah. King's Era, LA Knight going against ECW Original Vito without the dress. Uh, the Baldi's Vito. Yes. From the Baldi's. Now was Vito oh, was, was Vito in the dress? Was that better for his career? Because I think it kind of helped him out because he he made it work. Because like usually people when they get gimmicks they don't get it over as much because they go like this is shit. But yep. Vito went with he lived the gimmick twenty four seven. He went around everywhere with a dress. I think they said that was 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 that his idea or. What uh, he, I don't think it was his idea. He was given an idea, and he goes like, "Sure, I'll do it." And then he ran with it. But like he could have like whined and bitched about it, but he goes like, "I'll make this work if I if it kills me." Why did Why did they give him the dress? Was I it have politics? No idea. Vince McMahon has some weird ass ideas. Yeah. Oh, Vito, Vito, use it. Hurry! Damn it! There it is. Oh, Elena, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me talk to you. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah, yeah. This man is so over on SmackDown, man. I, I know. Why does he not have a mid-card title right now? I have no fucking idea. That's what I'm saying. How does this guy not have a title or somewhere in the main event? But for some reason, their age is... It, they, they crap on him because of his age. Yes. He's only 45. And they say that he's a mix of Stone Cold and The Rock, and they say that's a bad thing when it's fucking not. Right. Vito, watch the stairs, bro. Almost got headbutted into the stairs. Almost. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Like yeah. I said, like they, they crap on him because of his age. Meanwhile, AJ Styles and everybody else is in their 40s and 50s. Why single out this man? I never. I will not understand this. Oh, he's waiting. He's waiting. Oh, Ellie Knight is smart. No. Oh, fuck, Vito. He's oh. bleeding. Vito is bleeding. Vito is bleeding. Watch the stairs. Ooh. Okay. 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 Barricade was missed too. Vito gets right back up. So is I read gonna... something that I think should work. People are saying that 2K24 should be a showcase of Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Like, Bray Wyatt showcase for... And also, people are saying, put Bray Wyatt in the Hall of Fame for... Yes. 22... For 2024. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, though. Like, just like... Just like when Eddie Guerrero died, they put him instantly in the Hall of Fame. Like, I don't like it when they... Put people right in the Hall of Fame right when they die. Right, like give like, us uh, some time. Give them some time at least. Yeah. Like I get what you're trying to do by going like they just recently died. Like. Yeah, because like, also that is going to bring a lot of unwanted attention to the family. Like they're going to be like, oh, we're putting them in the Hall of Fame. Then they are going to get calls like, oh, what do you think that 
your husband was put in the Hall of Fame. Like, let them, let them fucking, like, there was a guy on TikTok that said, um, Bray Wyatt just passed, leave his family the hell alone because we shouldn't have cried for him because we didn't know him, blah, blah, blah. The only yeah. thing I agree with is leaving his family alone. Like, yeah, grieve yeah, for him, yeah, cry agree. for like, him. Like, but leave his family alone. Yeah, like, yeah. Anybody, like, like but yeah, that, but yeah. people like to call the family saying, like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, it's like, your fan, but who are you? Yeah. And then they message him on Facebook and everything. Yes. Like, 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 I get it. You want to show your love and support for Bray Wyatt and his family and all that, but like, I'm telling you right now, if something were to happen with uh, my wife and shit, dude, I'm shutting down my Facebook. I don't want unwanted messages at like three in the morning saying, "Oh, we heard the oh. news," and yeah. Yeah, like that's kind of like, yeah. but you know how people are like. It's like, you're, they're trying to be respectful, but... Right, right, You're right, still right. somebody, they, they don't know you. Yeah, yeah, like, JoJo, I think she left the WWE, correct? JoJo left a while back. Yeah, yeah, because she was an announcer, correct? Yeah. Ring announcer. Yes, yeah. Like, JoJo was okay on ring ring announcing, but Samantha Irving is killing it every oh, week. Yeah. yeah, she's fucking... Boom, there you go! Yeah. Vito! <sighs> oh, almost got down, LA Knight down for a three count. Fuck. Samantha Irving is like the queen of ring announcing because like the way she does it, it's, the lungs on her, man. The lungs on her. Are you saying that she is better? What the fuck was her name? She was Lillian bl- Garcia. Lillian Garcia. Are you saying she's better than Queen Garcia? I'm saying yes. Because, like, Lillian Garcia, she can belt it out, but Samantha Irving has that lung power. Like, I never heard anybody do the announcing like that. You know what? I'm going to fly out to Canada and confront you about your what? terrible choices. Listen, just listen to her say Gunfer, and everybody else is like, Go Roman go. Reigns and Kevin Owens, the way she just holds it in. Nobody, it's like, Green. Greg Hamilton did it, but he was not that good. All right. Ooh, use it. Use it! Oh, damn. Yeah. I like how she goes, uh, uh, Chad Gable, they know and Maxine Dupree! <laughs> Chelsea Green. Oh, that one too. Yeah. Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green! <laughs> <laughs> she goes all girly with that name. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Veto, 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 veto. There you go. No, back up. No. Veto, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh, Boom. LA Knight possibly gets a win. No, absolutely not. Count? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Thank you. Oh, damn. Veto still has some fight in him. Come on, Veto. Ooh! Watch that stairs. Oh, yes! Nice roll! No! Vito! Okay, 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 okay! Boom! Nice! Oh! Super kick part A. Gets right back up. Oh, what's LA Knight doing? Ooh. Keep that stop sign! Don't be dumb! Stop! There you in go! In the name of love! Stop! In the name of love! Oh, oh you're gonna get another me. knockout win? Come on. Oh, Ellie Knight got out of it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a fucking exhausted at this point. Who? V- Vito has to put this away. Oh, yes, yes, he does. No! Oh, oh it's over. It may be over. No, 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 no. No, absolutely oh, not. Oh, one, two. LA Knight wins, yeah! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this on your Friday night. Um, Like I said, we're wrapping up the season. In two weeks' time is the second annual Primus Games, but Humanoid's first ever cross-brand. So his links will always be in the description below. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.
Chelsea Green.